history of Veterans Day um, has its origins in World War I, oh, which incidentally see. started a hundred years ago to, um, this year. When the war ended, and it was such a horrible war that nobody ever imagined the likes of before all over the world, nobody wasn't impacted by it. There was an armistice, which was a um, end to hostilities that was signed on November 11th, 1918 at 11 o'clock a.m. So even though the peace settlement wasn't signed until the following year, and the war didn't officially become over until the following year. Nations around the world have celebrated Armistice Day on November 11th, um, usually beginning with moments of silence at 11, 11 a.m., um, often with parades, um, ringing of church bells, and other public commemorations. It was supposed to be the war to end all wars, but then when World War II broke out, in the aftermath of that terrible war, the United States um, Congress changed the um, national holiday publicly to Veterans Day, and from that point on in the 1950s, it became a day to commemorate veterans of all the armed forces in all of America's wars. Um, and many other countries around the world celebrate their own version of Veterans Day, Remembrance Day, Poppy Day, um, or, or some other, other names that they might know by. Um, I know that as a history teacher, I've often been critical of reasons that America has entered into some of their wars, but I've always thought it was really important to commemorate Veterans Day with honor and respect to our veterans. Um, I, maybe it's because I've known so many veterans of so many different wars. I'm the daughter of a World War II um, allied veteran, and um, I hope everybody will um, remember to thank a veteran today.